Whoever you are, you've got to help me. I know what this looks like, but I can assure you, I have committed no crime. The local constable is apparently two arrows shy of a quiver. The town was attacked by slavers, and he's accused me of being involved. I am a knight of the flame for Mara's sake, sent here to help secure the village. Just that I arrived in town right before the attack. It's absurd! Nerves are on edge at the castle, so I was sent to help protect the village. A messenger should have arrived ahead of me, but Constable Pascal says he never received the message. I'm glad you came along. The constable's down by the docks. If he won't listen to reason, try to find the messenger from Alcair Castle. He can explain everything. If you can get me released, the Knights of the Flame will be in your debt. What do you mean, not a good idea? I can't imagine who would do such a thing. If that is the case, though, someone needs to send word to the Knights of the Flame at Alcair Castle. There's no way she was working. The Knights of the Flame are sworn to defend Stormhaven from any who would do harm to the Bretons. But our primary duty is to protect the royal family. High King Emmerich, of course, and his brother, Duke Nathaniel at Alcair Castle to the north. Indeed, all kinds of rumors, spies at court, an attempt on the Duchess's life, an army of Red Guards with orders to storm the castle. Sir Hughes, the head of the Knights of the Flame, sent me here to make sure the village remains secure. Welcome to Coglin Village, Traveler, but you'll have to excuse me. No time for idle chat. The town's been attacked by slavers, and to make matters worse, they had help from people we would have expected to be on our side. Exactly. Everyone is all worked up because she's claiming to be a Knight of the Flame. I give her credit for a brilliant disguise, but I wasn't born yesterday. You didn't fall for her cockamamie story, did you? Again, a very convenient lie. There was a messenger from the castle here, but he didn't say anything to me. He was over there by the warehouse when the slavers attacked. Those fancy clothes made him a target. They took him captive. Well, I got the town guard organized fast and had the slavers in full retreat. <laughs> the cowards. They barricaded themselves in the warehouse, though. We're just going to starve them out. If your messenger's not dead... They've got him down there. Be my guest. Just don't expect any help from the guard. The slavers are like rats, quick to scurry back into a hole. But they fight nasty when they're cornered. The Dunmer crept up from the south and attacked in the dark. They killed the watch guard, but not before he sounded the alarm. We reacted fast. I had an uneasy feeling, so we were on alert. Lost a few good men. The Dunmer lost more. It's possible, but we cornered most of the cowards and cut them down. The last dozen or so barricaded themselves in the warehouse. Current plan is to just starve them out. If your messenger's alive, though, they've got him in there. I've never known fear like this. Filthy Dunmer swine! What are you hiding for? Getting hungry yet? I think something is going to happen soon. Really? Didn't you 
say that the last time you came by? I'm telling you, I think this is it. Lock There's the been back. some stranger around offering to help. Things are going to happen. It's about time. I assume the Duke sent you? I am his personal messenger, you know. Well, what are you waiting for? Untie me! I had a message for the constable. Not that it's any business of yours. Sir Hughes of the Knights of the Flame sent me with clear orders. The message is for the constable's ears only. No, please, I'll tell you! Not like it's a really important secret or anything. Sir Hughes just takes himself a little too seriously. The message was just that Dame Dabien of the Knights of the Flame was coming to help with security. No, I never got the chance. I had to talk to my friend first. Well, I didn't have to, I suppose. Anyways, that's when the slavers attacked. Will you untie me now? I'll go talk to the constable right away. It's quiet on the other side. Still nothing here? Oh, damn it, it's getting on my nerves. I'm... I'm really scared. This young man is lucky to be alive, though I'm not sure he realizes it. He told me about the message from the castle. The whole thing just seems a little too convenient, though, doesn't it? I can't release Dame Dabien, not yet. My duty is to ensure the safety of this village. And my gut's telling me that she's part of the threat. Too many coincidences. If we can get the village secure, we can revisit the matter. Right now, I need to deal with this ship. The slavers are on board. The captain claims he's not with them, but I know the truth. He's asking me to send the town guard to help him clear the slavers from below decks. It's clearly some kind of trap. And we're not falling for it. He's not. But even if he was, it wouldn't be my problem. My duty is to the village, not his ship. Bottom line, he needs to turn his ship around and head back out to sea. If not, we'll just sink it right here. That'll solve a slaver problem. You do that. Soon as we can ensure the town's in no immediate danger, we can talk about releasing your friend from the stocks. Everyone stay back. No one's getting on or off that ship until further notice. Go back to your home. You'll be much safer there. In all my years sailing these seas, I have never received such ill treatment in a friendly port. My men lie here bleeding on deck and we are refused aid. This man they call Constable is the son of a dog. Or did he change his mind? I'd sooner eat sand than do business with these Dunmer swine. I have explained this. Last night was dark. When I realized there was no beacon to mark the shore, I dropped anchor. The slavers came in longboats. They caught us unawares. It was a daring battle. The slavers outnumbered us ten to one. But we'd planned for this. We lured them below decks and sealed the hatch. Many men were lost, though. We here on deck are all that remain. And we need aid. Can you help us? Yes, of course. I would gladly give my ledger over, but unfortunately it is below decks. This is why I've asked the constable to assist us in eliminating these Dunmer dogs. But he has refused. I'm afraid we're at a stalemate in this respect. You are brave. Perhaps even a little foolhardy. But I like you. Though I fear for your safety down there. I will not stand in your way. If you return with the ledger, I will be forever in your debt.
<laughs> My spirit soars to see you return in one piece. And you found the ledger. Rutka, bless you. Please, take it to this constable and prove that we are friends and in need of assistance. Keep those weapons. The constable cheap. says be ready. He's got a plan. The captain still refuses to leave? All right, then we'll do this the hard way. I'll call together the rest of the guard. You have the ship's ledger? The captain said it was lost below decks. I'll have to study this, but I'll be honest, I'm extremely skeptical this will prove anything completely. No, I'm sorry, we just can't take that risk. I dreamed about all of this, you see. The slavers, the ship, the knight, they were all working together. Even the blacksmith, and I've known her for years. Yes, Sabisa the blacksmith too. And I don't care how it sounds. Defending the village is the highest priority, and we need weapons for that. Sabisa is refusing to supply us. She's leaving me no option but to have her arrested. Actually, I prefer you didn't. I appreciated your objectivity at first, but I must admit I am beginning to question your intentions. I'd prefer if you simply left town. You don't know what you're talking about. Paranoid. If you saw what I saw, I dreamed about this. Every last detail. You think that was just a coincidence? No way. Good riddance to those mad cultists and their bad man tree. If Constable Pascal sent you here with orders to open the forge, you can just turn around and head right back out the door. That man has no right to order me around, and I'm not about to issue weapons for his witch hunt. Arrest me? That beef-witted bastard! To think I even cooked that man breakfast! What an oblivion's gotten into him! First he arrests a Knight of the Flame, and now me? We were friends for years, and then one night... Well, I guess you don't need the details. For a month or two I thought we had something. Then he just broke it off. Wouldn't even let me in his house to talk. He acted like I had betrayed him. He did? He was having trouble sleeping. You know, I saw one of those weird cult members leaving his house. The Supernal Dreamers. You don't think that has anything to do with this? Don't know much about them, really. I think they're dedicated to some Daedric Prince. They're crazy people. Someone saw a group of them in the hills to the north. And then there was that one who visited the Constable. That's really all I know. Good idea. Perhaps there's some indication of why Pascal's behaving this way. He's just... not himself. I'll talk to some of the other townspeople. I bet some of them have noticed his behavior as well. Only the finest wares here! I don't understand the constable's reasoning. But I have enough sense to realize that something's not right here. Try this one out. 
Turns out that almost everyone in town thinks Pascal's been acting strange, even the guards. Did you find anything that explains his behavior? Oh, my poor little Pascal. What a mess you've made. One thing's for sure. We need to put an end to all these wicked accusations he's been making. Indeed. As I said, even the town guards knew something was amiss. I told them to be ready. I suppose Pascal will probably have to be restrained. Oh well. Best thing for unpleasant work is just to get it over with. Let's go. Wait. I thought the night was dangerous. Now it's... I'm all confused. Oh, my aching neck. I haven't been this sore in years. Oh, but freedom sure does feel good. This situation was more dangerous than I realized. You went way beyond the call of duty here, friend. I can't adequately express my gratitude. Not as glad as I am, believe me. It seems I'll need to take over security here in the village. And with those slavers out there, I need to get busy. First, though, I'm gonna see if someone around here can give me a massage. The villagers may not realize it, but you saved this town from crumbling into chaos. I mentioned before that I came from Alcair Castle. The situation there is critical, and I think you might be able to make a difference. I'd ask more of you if you'll hear me out. 